Hi guys, today we create a simple index HTML page in HTMX. So let's get straight into it. As always, I have I prepared some code to speed up the process, but it's really minimal. So we have index uh, package.json file with one dependency express on express. To have a note, uh, I have not version 19, so it's, it works with that, should work with uh, newer ones. So let's install the dependencies. Oh, sorry, not that folder, but this one. Okay. And what we have, guys? Uh, Express, the parser, also comes from Express. This is how you add the HTMX library. I took it direct, directly from the official website, which you can find here. Uh, then we have items. We see that in a while. We just start the Express app. I have one endpoint get to return the index HTML page. Here no magic, we return HTML page. Uh, which is really simple, head, title, some items, uh, items component, it's just a string with a list of items, and we start our app, 57 lines. So let's run a note dot, I believe, our app has started, let's go to the browser, and we have index.html page returned uh, from our server, Let's see that again. I uh, loaded HTMX and local host returns us the HTML page. Uh, regular HTML page, nothing HTML, HTMX related here now. So let's add something. Uh, with what we can start, guys, let's allow us to reverse the order of these items using HTMX primitives, let's say. So we will add a button here that will allow us to reverse the order of items. Okay, so here we have items. Let's just add the button, reverse items. For example, uh, let's restart our server. Okay, we have a button and Right now, let's do some HTMX related stuff. So, among other things, HTMX allows us to make Ajax, Ajax requests uh, by just using HTML attributes, uh, which are defined and supported by HTMX, the, just the JavaScript library. So here we can say Ajax post, uh, reverse items, let's say, and let's see what will happen. Uh, on the click on this button, let's click it, and uh, as you can see, the HTMX issued a post request uh, to this URL that we have defined in the uh, HTML attribute, but it got 404 because we didn't define that route. So let's just do that. So app post, this is how we do this in Express.js. Uh, reverse items, regress. And uh, here, uh, let's actually show something. So I have return HTML page, I believe. Yeah, so HTML page uh, function here, and let's just do uh, to show something. Some items in the paragraph like that. Uh, one more thing. Oh, let's actually run it and see what will happen. Uh, I didn't do all necessary things. Okay, some things didn't. Nothing really happened, but in the response we got something 
like that an H HTML fragment here we need to define what uh, HTMX should do with our response so we do something like H uh, HX target do items and this is really the ID of of the div that we want to uh, we want it to be replaced with the content of response so as you will see in a while uh, this div this u this somewhere here here uh, the content of it would be replaced with this response let's see that we click and reverse items uh, cause the items to be replaced like that if we do something like that and click you will see that uh, it was swapped so right now we want to reverse the items so we have it here array of items so uh, what we need to do is to do items reverse and to return the items which is html fragment so fragment of html not full-blown html page we have items components which is just an ordered list with uh, items as elements so here let's just do items component just just Okay, so we have first item, second item, and as you can see, we can reverse them, and in the response, reverse items, we are getting HTML fragment, and we didn't need to uh, write any JavaScript really to do that. It's all handled by uh, HTMX, HTMX uh, tags in the HTML file, which is quite handy. Okay, guys, so let's say that we want to add an item to our list. So let's do, uh, let's add items section to with some form. So let's have a form. Item is a simple object with name and value. So let's add input. Uh, with two inputs uh, for name and say item name and let's do similar for value so value and let's also do the submit input to add item and let's see that it works okay don't have h2 why okay typo still let's see guys what happened I don't know, but item should work. Let's see again. Yeah, never mind, it was wrong. Uh, I didn't want to bother with styles here, but maybe let's do break lines here because that's really strange for me at least. Okay, and let's not bother with style. Okay, so before doing full definition let's just show what htmx can do with the form so let's say that um, on submitting submitting this form htmx should do post request to i don't know, add item well as you will see we go we get 404 because we didn't uh, specify the, the handler for this URL on our server as previously, but uh, HTMX is sending the 
name and value that we have here, uh, which is all that we need to add an item, guys. So let's do again post items recurse like previously. Uh, let's have new item, just an object. We have body from express. Fish this name from the form then value also that but something like that. Um, let's push it and in response what we really want is to get uh, to return the updated list so we can show it here. So let's, uh, we added it to the items list and let's return HTML page, items component again, 201, let's say, that something was added. And similarly to this, to the button, we need to say that our target is items because by default, I believe it will try to Placed current item, but in general, there are many uh, strategies for this H HX target. Uh, so, you, uh, you are not limited to the fact that uh, for form uh, it will be sent when you click submit, but you can override it and uh, inject any behavior there, really. But I just want to show something basic on this video, so let's bother with that. And uh, okay, I did something wrong here because we get 404. Okay, but item, not items. Okay, and uh, we can add items, guys. Guys, add item, we send post. In response, we get a list, and as you can also see, we can do the full page reload and the items are still there, which is quite nice. Because as previously, we didn't need to write any uh, JavaScript code to have a fetch Ajax request sent to the server, and then we return from the server uh, HTML fragments, and it is rendered by HTMX. We don't need to do anything with it. It just just works, which is the whole point of HTMX. Okay, but one thing that uh, shouldn't be there is that we don't have any validation, so we can add empty items, as you can see. So let's fix that. So here, what I would do is, uh, at least I would, uh, let's do something minimal, so let's go like new item name, and uh, new item value, they need to be defined. So only then we'll add uh, item to items list and we return the page and else let's, let's return some error. We'll not handle it yet, but let's uh, prepare, prepare it. So let's, um, let's return paragraph with something like item name and value are, are required, for example. So let's do 400 and we see a problem to have. Yeah, so we have four, 400 and nothing really happened because the, by default, uh, HTMX doesn't render the responses with error codes, which are not 200. I guess. Um, what we can do for that, we can write some JavaScript uh, inline like that, simplest thing. And there are uh, many events uh, in HTMX that you can listen to. One of them is event called HTMX after request and uh, as the name suggests, to be called after each request. So let's see what we have here. 
So let's just do console walk. Uh, let's say after request we have uh, let's walk this event. Okay, let's refresh the page and uh, let's see what will happen on the item. Okay, we have have detail and you can see fight true which means that we got none to hunt response and we also have uh, our response so what we can do uh, we can render it somewhere so let's maybe uh, here uh, before the form page let's at errors container div do not have anything by default but here I will find it like that errors container is to document get element by ID errors container and uh, we know that we have in detail we have whether request fight or not. So let's do if uh, our event detail failed, we will simply do errors container inner HTML and we swap it with for response, which is detail XHR response. And uh, in other case, we didn't fail, so let's just erase the error by setting it to empty string, something like that. Uh, let's see. Let's see that whether it will work or not. The item. Okay, something didn't work, I guess. We didn't save it. If found, okay. It should. Let's see, guys. Yeah, it didn't refresh. Okay, so that's nice, but maybe let's make it red. So let's just do simple inline style red, like that. see yeah and we have error and also as you will see if we define something it goes away and so let's do name without name still we have a nice error and yeah and we can reverse it can refresh it and it all works guys okay so that was it short and sweet single simplest index html page uh, if you are interested in more in-depth look into htmx i also made a video about that i will link it uh, in the description and somewhere here and uh, if you like the video like the video subscribe the channel and uh, i see you next time see ya